Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano is live with us on the news deck. The first step is what? The first step will be some uh, negotiation back and forth with the, between the defense counsel and the prosecutors as to what they, they want. The first question he wants to ask is, are you going for the death penalty? Because these charges are so serious and so such a high-level breed of desertion. There are many gradations of desertion. This is among the highest. That if someone died in pursuit of him, and we know that arguably that happened, uh, the government can seek the death penalty. Thereafter, Bergdahl can insist on what's called an Article 34 hearing, fancy phrase for a grand jury. Instead of a grand jury meeting in secret with 23 grand jurors and only the government present, as we have in the civilian world, this will be a public hearing, one judge serving as a grand juror. The government has to present enough of its case to satisfy that judge that there is probable cause to believe that this defendant committed these crimes and the government has enough evidence to prove it. In civilian court, that's a probable cause hearing, but with an enormous distinction. Well, uh, civilian lawyers salivate at the advantage that military defense lawyers have. Here's the advantage. His lawyer, Eugene Fidel, whom Catherine and I know, a lot of us know this guy, he's arguably one of the best military defense lawyers in the country, he's a retired admiral, used to do the prosecuting, gets a chance to cross-examine the government witnesses at the grand jury, the Article 34 hearing, long before there's ac ever actually a jury trial. This is an enormous advantage which allows the defense to explore the, the, the knowledge of the witnesses in ways that wouldn't be permitted at an at a, uh, actual uh, trial for guilt. The argument on the part of the government may be, we haven't heard it yet, but it could very well be that someone died while trying to help rescue him, therefore will make the argument possibly that he deserves the death penalty? That's yes, what you're saying? Yes, that is the trigger for the death penalty. The government would have to prove the manner of this soldier's death and that it was directly related to the government's efforts to find him or rescue him. Short of that, because they've charged them with this very high level of desertion. They have to prove that he left intending never to return and left intending to help the enemy. These are very, very high standards of proof when you don't have the enemy there to provide the testimony. So I suggest that must, much of the testimony against him is going to be things he told the government in the past nine months while they've been interrogating him and investigating the case. And they say he has been cooperating. Yes. So that there'll be that for civilian, in civilian words, a probable cause hearing, and then after that, there's a courts martial? Then there will be the court martial, which will be a, a jury trial, very similar to a civilian jury trial, with 12 jurors from across the military, en enlisted members of the military, as well as officers. It'll be a public trial, uh, at which we can be present, but no, uh, no cameras are permitted. The government must prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt, same standard of proof as in a, a civilian criminal trial. Some uh, local prosecutors, some district attorney's office, uh, for, for an immediate event like this one, will come forward with chapter and verse of what they found and what they believe that this person did. Others won't. I wonder what the government's about I to do. I think we're going to hear some chapter and verse in about 15 minutes as soon as they come on your show and, and you, you, broadcast, you air it. They may talk about whether they're going to seek the death penalty and the details of what they believe he did. I'd be way. surprised if they say, say today whether or not they're going to seek the death penalty because that is a weapon that they would want to use in negotiating with Admiral Fidel, the defense lawyer. Uh, in an effort to get a, uh, a guilty plea. The government wants a guilty plea. They do not want a jury trial because one of the witnesses in the jury trial, if it's held more than two years from now, could be former President Obama as to the circumstances under which there was a controversial swap made for this guy. The government could subpoena? The defense counsel could subpoena at the, the time, the, uh, the, the former, former president. president. Correct. So the government does not want a jury trial. They want this guy to plead guilty. They want him to go away. They want the case to go away. Man, I'm looking forward to this news conference. Yes. Judge. Same here.